The Lingdorf TDAI 1120 integrated amplifier is the brainchild of the iconic Danish audiophile Peter Lingdorf. Many who haven't heard of the brand Lingdorf Audio perhaps have heard of Dali, Snell, and NAD, whom Mr. Lingdorf had owned at one point in their history. With this heritage in hi fi, it was no surprise that now focusing on Lingdorf Audio, there would be an entry level offering geared towards demanding audiophiles expecting a product that I guess would quench their thirst for a refined and dynamic sound that all brands Mr. Lingdorf has had his hands in could easily produce. With various features, including Room Perfect, which is an intuitive calibration process, media player, and a classy look, the TDAI 1120 came prepared to class. However, did all this hard work and design aesthetics count where it mattered? In the ears of the listeners? Let's find out. This compact and straightforward unit only comes in a cool matte black color. Its small form factor allows it to have incredible flexibility on placement for the consumer. So it could sit on a desktop. The front fascia is very clean and minimalist. Half features a glass plate where different symbols illuminate behind it depending on the various inputs and sources you select and connection status. On the right side of the front plate, are a source and mute button, large volume control in which the volume level is indicated by a luminous ring around the knob, and a small standby button that essentially puts the unit to sleep. What I first noticed that I thought represented the unit well was the small Lingdorf logo illuminated upon powering up the amplifier on the bottom left corner. It was a first impression that made me feel like I was dealing with, you know, a high-end product. The TDAI 1120 did not come with a remote control, which some do enjoy managing their, you know, source inputs and volume. It is sold separately though for 87 euros, which was unexpected and rare for a device with so many options. However, it offers a mobile app that commands all of its features, including the room perfect acoustic correction. Unfortunately, I don't have a what's in the box segment in this video. However, inside the packaging along with the unit came a calibration microphone for your speakers, an eight meter long connection cable with XLR connectors and a telescopic stand. As Lingdorf claims, the amplification delivers 2 by 60 watts into 8 ohms and 2 by 120 watts into 4 ohms, which should power bookshelf speakers effortlessly and some floor standards that don't require too much juice. One of the most intriguing features is on the rear of the unit. Lingdorf outfit the TDAI 1120 with an HDMI ARC connector, which you can use to hook up you know, your favorite 4K flat screen. However, it does not decode cinema formats. So it's of paramount importance that you set your TV's audio to PCM to avoid any issues. It also allows you to control the unit's volume with your flat screen remote control, which is an excellent feature to replace, I don't know, a, a sound bar or the dreadful audio that most new flat screens provide out of the box. Rest assured that this unit has a phono input with an integrated phono preamp to connect your favorite turntable for the vinyl community, which is very important. As the subculture of vinyl enthusiasts continues to grow and thrive, this feature couldn't be ignored and comes readily available in most devices such as these. The Lingdorf TDAI 1120 is not as flashy as the name Unity Atom, which is the device I would closely compare this unit to, loosely compare it to, I suppose. They share many features and connectivity options. However, Lingdorf's advantage would be with its Room Perfect software, a feature that not many manufacturers have given much thought to, let alone mastered. In our new standard of streaming audio, the TDAI 1120 came Rune ready, which in my opinion is the best way to go since the UI on the mobile app for streaming isn't as you know elegant or user-friendly as other offerings. You also have the choice of Chromecast, which is built in, Spotify Connect, 
which can continue playing even if your mobile is turned off, AirPlay 2 for you Apple fans, internet radio via vTuner, Bluetooth, and local file playback via USB. With over 20 years of development by Peter Lingdorf and his team of engineers, the goal was to create a calibration system that identifies the sound signature of the speakers at the same time measuring the acoustics of the room and applying the corrections to fit the space they are in. Like REW, the user will position the microphone provided and take measurements of the speakers in the room they are in. Then it creates an equalization curve that the room perfect technology can identify and then correct. Many other calibration programs will I guess change the sound of the speakers rather than maintaining their unique characteristics. The Room Perfect technology is essentially meant to calibrate your speakers to deliver optimal frequency response, level alignment, and bass management to better integrate your speakers with your subwoofer in even the most difficult rooms. And I know because my room is difficult. Since Tidal via Rune is one of my favorite means to listen to music, I decided to use it to test the capabilities of the TDAI 1120. I felt streaming would suit this device properly since its infrastructure feels like it was tailor-made for the modern day streamer. For this review, I decided to connect my KLH Model 5 speakers to the unit. I used Audience AV AU24SX speaker cables with banana plugs and the standard power cable the amplifier initially came with. I wanted to listen to the unit before and after room correction to see if the audible difference was, in fact, discernible or if it was just marketing fluff. The setup of the room perfect feature was quite simple. Really, all you have to do is follow the prompts in the app and away you go. Silver's song, I'm America, is not only catchy, but has heavy guitars. I feel potent riffs, solid drums, and high-pitched vocals could really take the Model 5s for a workout if appropriately powered. Being a fan of Lacuna Coil and Shinedown, Silver's sound blended well with my personal musical tastes. Modern rock isn't for all audiophiles tastes in music, however I enjoy it because the aggressive delivery is what I look for when discovering an amplifier's capabilities and limitations. It delivered this song with authority, creating a wide soundstage. I really felt immersed in the music. I was worried that you know the amount of power would be an issue to drive a song like this, but even at higher volumes, which I normally listen to things in, it did not disappoint. Following this, I decided to go a bit classical and see how the 1812 Overture by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra is interpreted using this amplifier. Cliche, I suppose, however. In this evaluation, I wanted to discover whether the separation of instruments and the overall soundstage was being represented well. I was very impressed with the general power from this small unit, especially after reading other reviews that the power delivery was the unit's handicap. I felt it provided plenty of juice to hear the orchestra perform just the way they had intended. Many of us know the 1812 Overture is known for its liberal amount of lows, and the TDAI 1120 was able to provide them with ease. Lastly, Whatever It Takes by the group Imagine Dragons allowed me to explore the low, low end. The song has many deep bass beats and overall punchy delivery, accompanied by amazing vocals. The clarity was the biggest takeaway from this song. It was clean and smooth and had a bit of warmth to it. It sounds like this unit has a bit of a class A B sound sprinkled with some class D power out of digital amplification, which is wild. All frequencies were performing flawlessly with excellent balance and cohesion. This was surprising because I did not expect this sound quality from such a small form factor. So I set up the Room Perfect software in my following listening session and calibrated the speakers to my room. I already thought that this unit had over delivered for the price. The number of features and sound quality, overwhelming. The calibration took it a step further though. 
Without any assistance from the Room Perfect software, it gave the KLH Model 5 amazing energy and character. After calibrating the unit to my room, whoa. The vibrancy and vigor of the music played were enhanced considerably. I am always a skeptic of room correction because of past experiences. However, the years of development and perfection from Peter Lingdorf's team were quite apparent. But when the Room Perfect software was turned off, you could hear an audible difference that was just there. I didn't have any high hopes for this little black box, honestly. Even with the advent of having state-of-the-art room correction, I just didn't feel a small form factor device such as this would perform like having separate high-end components. I can admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong. The Lingdorf TDAI 1120 performed well above original expectations. I felt that the power rating was meant for small bookshelf speakers. However, it drove those KLH Model 5s without even breaking a sweat. The clarity of the mids and highs paired with the precision of the bass made me realize good things come in small packages. Could it have had more juice to power a more demanding speaker? Sure. Was it meant for that? No. Lingdorf has plenty of other offerings that will satisfy those with hungry speakers. This unit was meant for a small two-channel setup and paired with the right speakers, it will shine. Thank you guys for joining me. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel since, I don't know, I consider my content fairly digestible. Also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash on that thumbs up to let everyone know this was a win. Check out the description below for links to the product, my merch store, as well as all the other wild things I'm up to. Have a great week, my friends. Take care. Thank you.